time and time again over the last couple of years, we've seen people get tackled in shops by police over laws they don't quite understand whether or not they're enforceable. We've seen people in their own homes having their doors smashed in by police who don't quite understand the laws and the fact that they can't enforce what they're trying to. Over the last two years, we've seen people take the police and the government to court over fines imposed by the government and by the police for laws they don't quite understand. And judges have found large numbers of these fines unenforceable. And this rock continues. Yet what I read in the news today tells me, without a shadow of a doubt, that there are most definitely the thems and the asses. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Last one on a Thursday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself, actually. It's been a reasonable day. I've uh, got some stuff done at home. Nice daily live stream of everybody earlier. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, the last day of the week. Well, 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 the double standards and hypocrisy keep flying around, don't they? You know, I get really pissed off with this. These government people, they think they're something on a level way above all of us and they can do what they want without reproach well I say enough I'm, I'm done with it I've had enough we've been told for the last couple of years what we can't do and what we can do it's more a case of what we can't do and we've all got to the point we're saying you know Boris shut up we're done now we've had enough go away you've had your fun get somebody else in particularly last year where we were all looking forward to a Christmas you remember that and then they tried to cancel it well, I reckon the vast majority of people said, bollocks, Boris. By the way, somebody suggested I put that on a T-shirt. I might look into it. And uh, we all went around about our Christmases anyway, apart from the odd family here and there that decided to do as they're told. But that's down to everybody and their own choices. But if you did uh, act out of character to what the law expected of you, you should have expected a knock on the door from the boys and girls in blue which did happen I've seen the video footage as far as I'm concerned everybody should be treated in that way well have a look at this the police won't not can't or unable to won't investigate any wrongdoing regarding a party in Boris's flat over the Christmas period last year. Lack of evidence, they say. Well, I think we've seen plenty of evidence in the media over the last 12, 24 hours, haven't we? And they won't investigate. Therefore, making it a situation where it's one rule for them and one rule for us. I have a very, very basic question. How can you expect the rest of us to toe the line if you don't? This game is over, Boris. You've lost, we've won. You can do what you like now. We're never going to treat this with the same trustworthiness, integrity, respect, or anything else you demand of it. It's finished. It's over. Look at what an absolute mess you've made. And the timing of the Plan B announcement yesterday as well. It doesn't wash with the British public anymore, Mr Prime Minister. And with the police turning around and saying they won't fill your collar... I'll be damned if they should be allowed to come and fear Lars. I think we need to get on with our lives now and have things the way they used to be. That's just my opinion, and I'm sure it's shared. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I bid you good evening, folks. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.